You may have fear of your own voice, but do not expect people to hear your anger and frustration if they have nothing to listen to. You may believe in societal stereotypes that take away your ability to take action, but do not expect the world to change. We live in a society that has it backwards. We believe that the world would change by itself over time, leaving the world and ourselves stagnant. We cannot wait for something to happen by itself, but we must work hard toward that change. We must first change ourselves, build our own confidence. We can struggle, but we must try. Put yourself in groups that help you get out of your comfort zone. And do not be one of those people who keep the world stagnant, but work towards the goal of making the changes in our world. We want to be open to every new piece of information and advice we receive. We want to build the habit of talking things through and being open. I get defensive, you get defensive, we all get defensive. To stop that habit, we must reflect. What can I do to communicate for others? For me, I have to speak up to my family, my friends, in order to get out of my comfort zone. I've been struggling to communicate with others and with my family mostly. In order to practice nonviolence, we must avoid shallow discussions and dig deeper. If we engage more in meaningful discussions, we are able to find how to develop our character. Be quick to speak up when there is silence, because silence is deadly. We must speak up about the things that matter, because when we don't, we no longer have our spiritual power. We are selfish when we don't speak up because those words are powerful enough to save people and make changes. We become irrelevant the moment we don't speak on things that matter. And ask yourself this, why do I not speak up? Scared of what others might think is an irrational fear. One that silences, one that silences quantities of people around the world. When you must use your voice so there is no silence. Thank you.